Hey guys, Andy from Tinker Crate, and I'm going to show you how to use your slime kit to do a bunch of awesome experiments. Your slime kit comes with a lot of awesome materials. You get some borax, cornstarch, glue, glow powder, liquid watercolor, and three capsules to keep your slime in after you're done. But let's take a look at the tools now. You get three scoops in different sizes, a pipette, craft sticks to stir, a straw to experiment with, and a bunch of mixing cups. You also get some googly eyes and pipe cleaners for a fun extra activity, and a bonus slime lab notebook to track your observations. For our first experiment, I'm gonna show you how to make this awesome glowing super slime. To do this experiment, we're gonna start off by making two mixtures, a borax mixture and a glue mixture. We'll start with the borax mixture. Take a glass of water, fill up one of your plastic cups halfway. Then, one medium-sized scoop, blue scoop, of borax, and dump it in. Then take your craft stick, stir it until it completely dissolves. This should take about 30 seconds. To make your glue mixture, you'll need two big scoops of water. Then you will need one big scoop of glue. Take your glue, squeeze it in, Pour it all the way up to the top. Dump that right in. Lastly, you want to take six small teensy scoops of your glow powder. You want to take your craft stick and then stir it all up. And it should look about like that. Your next step is to combine the two mixtures. So you want to do that by taking your pipette and sucking up some of the borax mixture. And we'll mix that with our glue mixture. After your slime starts to feel pretty solid, you can take it out and start kneading it with your hands. And that's about what it should look like. Your slime actually glows really well, so take it in a dark room and see for yourself. Another really cool experiment you can try is breaking off just a little piece of your slime. You can actually use your straw to blow bubbles. Your slime will dry out, so when you're done, put it in a capsule and seal the top, and that way your slime will stay fresh for longer. Let's make some clay putty next. For this, you'll again need two different mixtures that you're gonna combine. A borax mixture, and this is exactly the same as the one we just did, and then a glue mixture, but this one's a little bit different. For this glue mixture, you'll only need one big scoop of water, one big scoop of glue, two medium scoops of cornstarch. Mix it all together until it's nice and smooth. You want to combine your two mixtures the same way you did before. Once it's sticking pretty well to the craft stick, pull it out and then again start kneading it. Again it's going to be pretty slimy at first, but keep kneading it and it'll come together. When you're done kneading, it should look something like this. It's pretty solid, not slimy. Pull quickly in the center, it'll break in half. Try drawing a smiley face, then take your play putty and press it on top. When you peel it back, you'll see that it transferred. You can stretch and make all sorts of funny faces. One thing to note is that washable markers work best for this fun trick. Next, let's try making a glowing bouncy ball. For this, both our borax and our glue mixtures are gonna be different than the other two experiments. For this borax mixture, you'll need three medium scoops of water. Then you'll need one medium scoop of your borax. For this glue mixture, you'll need one big scoop of cornstarch and then one big scoop of glue. Then you'll want to add eight small scoops of your glow powder. Lastly, add three drops of your liquid watercolor. Of course, you want to stir it all together. Pour all of your borax into the bouncy ball. Mix. Pull your bouncy ball out of your cup and start kneading it until it gets a lot less slimy. After your bouncy ball is pretty dry, try rolling it into a ball on the table. Once you get a shape you're happy with, give it a shot. Pretty good, huh? For our last project, we're gonna be making some awesome glowing creepy critters. For this one, you'll need the same mixture as you had for your bouncy ball project. So same borax, same glue mixture. So after you're done kneading and it's pretty dry, it's time to put those pipe cleaners and googly eyes to good use. We'll make a fun little critter. I'm gonna make a little spider guy. Voila! You have a little creepy critter that'll glow in the dark. Now you leave this guy out to dry and he'll be as strong as plastic. 
So we used all of our mixture to make one big guy, but if you divvy it up, you can make lots of small, cool critters. Try making different things with wings or a stand-in guy. You can even draw on your plastic after it's dried. Thanks for hanging out, guys. That was your slime kit. We did a lot of awesome experiments. Please subscribe, check out our other videos, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.